Remove the distributor cap from the distributor. Notice the old style rotor. Also notice the hash mark on the ring of the distributor. That indicates your number one position. Loosen the three flathead screws that hold your point set in place. With a small pair of pliers, remove the cotter key and the washer from the top of the point set. Remove your point set off of the post and your adjusting concentric. You want to save these parts and pieces in case you ever have to reinstall them into the distributor if you have a failure. I'm going to remove the shielded green wire from the distributor, loosen it in the set block on the distributor. Make sure that once you remove the wire, you tighten that screw back down as you do not want it to come loose and fall into the advance mechanism. We now need to drill out the distributor fitting so that the two Petronix wires will fit through. Remove the fitting from the distributor with a 17 millimeter wrench. We're going to drill it out with a 7 30 seconds drill bit. Reinstall the drilled fitting back into the distributor. Drop the Petronix spacer plate over the stud in the distributor. You may also need to loosen the condenser wire and tuck it out of the way in order to place the Petronix igniter module on top of the spacer plate. Install the Petronix pickup module and route the wires through the distributor fitting. Reattach the condenser wire over the two Petronix igniter module wires. This helps to protect the wire so that they cannot move, as well as leaves the condenser in place so that if you ever have to reinstall your points, uh, it's a simple procedure. Install the module set screw with a Phillips screwdriver, but do not tighten. This is where we find the most problems with the installation of the igniter. The magnetic ring sits down over the six lobes of the distributor shaft. The most common no spark conditions are usually as a result of the alignment of the magnetic ring in relationship to the pickup box. Here the magnetic ring is not fully seated. The correct magnetic ring height is flush with the top of the pickup or slightly below the top of the pickup. You now need to set the vertical spacing between the pickup module and the magnetic ring. Using a flat blade screwdriver, lever over the base plate until the pickup is within a millimeter of the ring. Tighten the Phillips set screw of the pickup module. We now need to wire the module. Remove the ends of the low tension lead. and remove the green wire from the sheath. Cut off the ends of the Petronix igniter module wires and feed the wires through the rubber ring. Use a pair of needle nose to open up that ring in order to get your clearance.
Slide the rubber ring up the Petronics wires into the fitting. We now need to route the wires through the sheathing. You need to think uh, Chinese handcuffs at this point and push the sheathing in so that it expands large enough so that you can run both wires through the sheathing. We now need to work the wires through the open sheathing. You're going to take the black wire all the way through and the red wire we are going to pull out through the side of the sheathing uh, at the other end. Using the tip of your Phillips screwdriver, open up the side of the sheathing for the red wire to come out. Route the red wire through the hole in the side of the sheathing and install the sheathing to the distributor fitting. Stretch the wire sheath back out. You may want to use some shrink tubing right at the end where the red wire comes out of the sheath. At this point, you can reinstall the military fitting if using the shielded coil and or just put on the rubber fitting and the crimp if using the civilian ignition coil. This one is ready to stall back on to a military coil. The base of your rotor must be shortened in order to fully seat onto the top of the distributor shaft. Here at our shop we use a belt sander and simply machine off a little less than an eighth of an inch off the bottom of the rotor to install it down on top of the magnetic ring. Install your rotor, make sure that it is fully seated, then install your distributor cap. In this case, we're using the civilian distributor cap for the Unimog ignition conversion. Your red wire is going to be wired to 24 volt and your black wire to the negative side of the coil. Time your Unimog to 10 to 14 degrees advanced and your pins gower to 7 to 10 degrees advanced. We appreciate your business. Thank you.